One, which word would you use if you needed to describe a person who doesn't have all their fingers on one hand? I would call this person, oh, I would call this person disabled because if you don't have your fingers, all your fingers, like all five of your fingers on one hand, then something's definitely wrong with you. So I'm going disabled. You should just call this person normal. I don't know about you, but I what? have all 10 of my fingers divided onto two hands with five oh. on each. Well, that's definitely not the way I looked at it, but that's, that should give you a summary of what we're doing today because today we're doing a common sense test that apparently 90% of people fail. And as you can tell, I failed already. So let's see if that luck continues with question two. Two. All right, we tested your anatomy, now some geography. If a plane okay. crashes right on the border between Canada and the United States, where should they bury the survivors? Whoa, are you supposed to know international aviation laws or something? Well, take 10 seconds to figure it out. Well, I don't think you bury survivors, do you? The word bury survivors, it just sounds weird to me. So like, I don't know if you bury survivors or not, but if you do, I don't know where you'd bury them, but you don't bury survivors in my book. Have you made up your mind? Canada, USA, hmm. But are you 100% sure they bury the survivors? No. <laughs> Three. Okay, how about this one? Imagine that you just entered a pitch black room. There's an oil lamp, a newspaper, and some kindling wood inside the room, but you only have one match. You have to make a tough choice. What will you light first? Well, if you, well, it depends if you have a match that's already been lit up or one without. If you have one that's without, you need to find a matchbox somewhere. If you have one that's already lit, I think you go for the oil lamp. It'll probably give you the most, like, um, the best way to find your way around the, the room. <laughs> The oil lamp is definitely a good choice, but still incorrect. First of all, you'll need to light the match. See? Matchbox. <laughs> Four. Mrs. Brownie, despite her name, loves the color pink. Her bungalow is decorated entirely in the bubblegum color. Pink carpet, furniture, curtains, even the walls are pink. So what color do you imagine the stairs are? Okay, so... This is a bungalow, so stairs don't exist in it. But if I imagine what color they'd be, pink! <laughs> Perhaps if there were stairs, they would most likely See? be pink, but bungalows just have one floor. Yeah. No stairs needed. Yep. Five. One day a man got caught in the pouring rain. Unfortunately, he had no umbrella or hat or anything else he could use to stay dry. Yet, not a single hair on his head got wet. How so? Because he was bald? I can't think of any other explanation. <laughs> I can't think of anything else, bro. <laughs> the answer is so simple, you'll want to slap yourself for not thinking of it. The man was bald. All right. Six, how can it be that every single person in a plane crash died, but two people survived? This is a straight up paradox, and you have only 10 seconds to explain it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to, this is like one where you need to read the question carefully. Let's see. Oh, every single person. I think, and then, and then they say two people. These two people were probably married. <laughs> so I think that's the only scenario that's been given here. The thing is that those two survivors were married. See? Every single person. Ah, I see what they did there. Uh-huh. Seven. Time for a tricky one, so be very attentive. What do you sleep on, sit on, and brush your teeth with? 
like that? I have no idea. This is the first one. I, I, I'm, I'm quitting out on this one. I have no idea. A bed, a chair, and a toothbrush. Common oh. sense, remember? Don't overcomplicate things. You phrased it as if it's just one thing. Eight. In some months, there are 31 days. In others, there are 30. But how many months have 28 days? Come on, you know this one. You've got 10 seconds to remember. All of them. I mean, I mean, some months have 31, 38, 30 days, but you can count up to 28 in every single month, so. So, is it just one? February, right? Nope. The answer is actually 12. All 12 months have 28 days. Nine. A man dressed in all black from head to toe was walking in the middle of the road. All of a sudden, a huge black car with its headlights off came around the corner and screeched to a halt not to hit him. How on earth did the driver of the car see the man in black? And 10 seconds on the clock. If you need more time, just pause the video. Well, I'm trying to be very intentive here. And I'm seeing the word headlights off, which would insinuate that this happened in the daylight? Well, it's kind of hard not to notice a man dressed completely in black during the daytime. <laughs> be very attentive, guys. 10. There were three highly important rooms in the house of an extremely important man. One room was filled with valuable secret documents. The second one was full of money. And in the third room, the man kept expensive jewelry. But one day, an arsonist set the house on fire and all the highly important rooms burst into flames. Which of the rooms did the police start to extinguish the fire first and foremost? Well, basically common sense means no sense. So that means I'm going to go with the basement. <laughs> what? Common sense, right? You can debate the philosophical stuff later, but let's get one thing straight. The police don't put out fires. That's what firefighters oh. do. Okay. 11. What's the biggest problem with snow boots? That's a pretty random question. Still, take 10 seconds to think of your complaints about this winter weather must have. Well, I'm thinking that snow boots are only able to be used in the snow. That's the biggest problem with them. I mean, they're called snow boots after all. Snow boots melt as soon as you take them home or spring comes. Okay. Oh, because these ones are made of snow. Gotcha. Yeah, they can only be used in the snow. 12. How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? You can't, logically, but if I had to think of a clever way to say that, they're basically framing this as a giraffe plush, so maybe you fold it up and then you put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> so here's exactly how you do it. You open the fridge and put the giraffe inside. Then, it's better to close the door so you won't let the cold out. This question in particular shows if you tend to overcomplicate things. Okay, so no giraffe doll. <laughs> 13. Now, how do you put an elephant in a fridge? This is very simple. You take the giraffe out and then you put the elephant in. <laughs> That's going to be the answer, isn't it? I, I, I can tell you this right now. All right, listen carefully. Open the fridge, take the poor frozen giraffe <laughs> out, put the elephant in, and close the door. See, if you remember I told the giraffe, you. you're good I at thinking you. about repercussions of your actions. 14. Noah builds one more ark and invites all the world's animals to join him. Every single animal gets on board, except for one. What animal doesn't board the ark? Well, I don't see any fish on there, so most likely it's the fish, because they're on the water, so why would they be on here? It's the elephant, of course. Uh, it's still in the fridge, poor whatever. thing. If what? you got this one right, your memory is razor sharp. Very nice. 15. You're hiking in the wilderness when you come upon a river. You have to cross it, but you know that crocodiles dwell in rivers there. How can you reach the opposite side without becoming a crocodile's dinner? 
you probably go around the lake like take a short like a long route but at the same time i don't think crocodiles are in rivers they're they're more they're more a lake kind of thing from what at least from what i know so i i really don't know about this one but i all i all i know is crocodiles are not in rivers don't worry just swim across the river. There's no danger. Uh, All the crocodiles are on Noah's see? Ark. Did you figure this one out? If so, it shows you can quickly learn from your mistakes. Okay. Which question baffled you more than the others? Tell us in the comments below. Remember to like this video and click subscribe to join us on The Bright Side. Well, if I may say, that was a pretty good video to watch. Really, test, really tests my knowledge. And hopefully it tests your knowledge too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be a pain to edit. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.